Hello, everybody. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, sorry that I'm two minutes late. Perdón, me tardé dos minutos. Tenía, um, tenía otro grupo ahí. Okay, very good. Listos? All right. Yes, very good. Teacher. All right. Uh, permíteme, solo voy a tomar la captura. Y le voy a poner una pregunta en el chat. Okay. Yeah. La pregunta sería, describe your living room. Describe your describe. Living room. your living room, tu sala, right? Describe your yeah. living room. Remember, we were talking, there is, there are. ¿Recuerdan lo que hicimos mm -hmm. ayer o se, se los olvidó? <laughs> there is, there are, right? And then we use some. There are some. There are there aren't any. There are a few. Okay. Describe your living room. In chat, Mr. Yes, in the chat. Describe your living room, right? So I'm going to start first. Okay, I'm going to say. There are some wood chairs in my living room. Okay, there you go. Ya le, ya le di un ejemplo. There are some wood chairs in my living room. There are a few metal windows in my living room. Okay, very good. Let's see, we have some answers. Harrison says they are there are a few. Perdón. Harrison, perdón, perdón, perdí tu chat. There are a few metal windows in my living room. Excellent, Harrison. Uh, Maria says there are some glasses in my kitchen. Very good. There are some photos on the wall of my living room. Rosa, very good. Francisco, there is a TV and there are some chairs. There aren't any bed, beds, sería, right, plural? There aren't any bed, beds in my living room. Very good, Alberto. There are, there are several plastic pictures in my living room. Alberto, ahí se te olvidó, in my living room, ¿verdad? La preposición in, and also, cuando tú usas several, no necesitas el artículo a. Claudia Fernandez, they are two TVs, plural, in my living room, right? M-Y, se escribe my, right? M-Y. Jose, there is some paint in my living room. Okay, very good. What about furniture, objects? Uh, there are some pictures in my living room. Very good. Jessica, there are some pictures in my living room. Very good. Ileana, in my living room, there is a red sofa. There are some curtains. There are a lot of posts in the table. There are plastic chairs. Very good, excellent, Ileana. All right, very good. Veo que se acordaron, right? <laughs> good job, everybody, excellent. Okay, let's do attendance first. first. Attendance, ready? Alberto Espinosa. Alberto Espinosa. Present teacher. Ana Francisca García. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Recuerden mantener su micrófono apagado hasta que digan present. Ana Vicky García. 
Present, teacher. Thank you, Francisco Javier Artiga. Present. Betsy Avalos. Betsy Avalos. Okay. Betsy Marisol Flores. Present, teacher. Cesar Adonai. Present. Okay. Claudia Jeanette Ramirez. Claudia Jeanette. Claudia, Claudia Jeanette, present. Okay. Present, okay. Claudia Victoria. Present. Okay. Dalida Antonia. Present, teacher. Okay. Delmi Guadalupe. Present, teacher. Dinora Lisset Pineda. Dinora Lisset. Present teacher. Okay. Present teacher. Thank you. Edwin Alberto Gomez. Edwin Alberto Gomez. Okay. Er, eh, Ernesto Arturo Garcia. Ernesto Present, Arturo. Teacher. Okay. Thank you. Fel, Felix Edgardo Escobar. Present teacher. Thank you. Herson Elias. Present teacher. Elina Linares. Present teacher. Ah, me brinqué a alguien. Francisco Gerardo. Francisco Gerardo. Ok. Eh, Iliana. Present teacher. Iliana Alvarado, thank you. Present. Israel Antonio Torres. Present teacher. Jennifer Sarai. Jennifer Sarai. Jessica Elizabeth Rosales. Present. Joanna Beatriz. Present teacher. Okay. Jorge Jose. Present teacher. Jose Carlos Rodriguez. Present teacher. Okay. Jose Isaias Portillo. Present teacher. Carla Patricia Rivera. Carla Patricia Rivera. María de los Ángeles. Present teacher. Okay. Rosa Elizabeth. Present teacher. And Santos Bolaños. Present teacher. Okay. Thank you. Alguien que no llamé, que se, que se incorporó ahorita. Alguien que no escuchó su nombre, alguien que no dijo present. Carla. Hello. Sí, aquí estoy. No me escuchó. Ah, sí, no, no le escuché. Ok. Sí, Very sí, good. aquí estoy. Quizás no me escuchó. Gracias. Ok. All right. Very good. ¿Recibieron la guía? Yes. 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 Ok. Very good. Excellent. So yes. We're going to practice a little bit. We're going to do some speaking activities also. Let me start off sharing. Okay. Okay. No, this is not, it's not this one. Seria esta. All right. Very good. Okay. Do you remember yesterday? We talked about your house, right? There are some, there aren't any, there are a lot of, there are many, there are a few, right? So we can use this to describe our houses, right? So for example, there are some paintings on the wall. There are some wood chairs in my living room, okay? So algunos ya hicieron esta, verdad? There are some, okay? Podrían usar, there aren't any. For example, díganme algo que no tienen. There aren't any plants um, in my there, living room. There are any clothes in my room. Okay, there aren't any clothes in your room. Okay, very good. Tal vez tienes toda tu ropa en otro, en otro closet, en otro lugar. There aren't any clothes in my room. Very good. There are... There, there are any 
plants in my living room. Okay, very good. There aren't any plants in my living room, right? Another example? There aren't any sofa in my bedroom. Very good. There aren't any sofas in my bedroom. Okay. Yes. Very good. There, there are pictures in my bedroom. There aren't any what, Claudia? Pictures. Pictures. In my bedroom. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Algo que sí tienen bastante. For example, there are a lot of plants in my yard. Right? There are a lot of plants. Algo que sí tienen bastante. Hmm? There are a lot of tables in the living room. Okay, very good. There are a lot of pictures on my wall. Right? Okay. Uh, pans and pots. Okay. Pots son las, las que son un poquito más hondas. Uh -huh. Las que usamos como para café. Ok. Ok, teacher. Thank you. Lo mismo, there are many. Right? Lo mismo, there are many pans and pots in my kitchen. Right? Eh, for example, Ana, Ana Francisca, eh, there are many. Finish. There are many candies in my bowl. Uh, candies? Dulces? There are many candies in my bowl. Yes. Okay. There are many candies on your wall. Los tenés en la pared. Los the dulces. Oh my bowl. Yes. Oh my bowl. Bowl, decía. Ah, no. Bowl. 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 Bowl que es. Um, Ajá, yes. yes. Bowl. Very good. Okay, eh, Jose, uh -huh. Jose Isaias, question? Eh, I have a question. Eh, ¿Cuál es la diferencia en sí entre a lot of and many? No hay. <laughs> Casi dicen lo mismo. There are a lot of plants Mucho, in my garden. Bueno. Lo mismo uh -huh. podría decir usando many. Puedo usar indistintamente uh -huh. ambas. Sí. Acuérdense que estas esta okay. palabras solo me están dando como una idea de la cantidad. Thank you. There are many plants in my garden. The same. The same thing. Okay. Very good. And a few. A few is como un poquito de. O oh, un poco. There are a few napkins in the table. ¿Saben qué son napkins? Do you know what napkins are? Yes, servietas. Very good. Servietas. There are a few napkins on the table. Hay unas cuantas, unas pocas. A few. Okay. Very good. Questions? Questions? Okay, so esto es lo que hicimos ayer, ¿verdad? Para una explicación más detallada, tendrían que ver el video de ayer, ¿verdad? Que está ahí en nuestra lista de reproducción. Ok, let's go and practice this worksheet. We're going to use a or an, some or any. Ok, recuerden que any es cuando usamos negativo. Negative. This is an email here. All right. Ustedes me ayudan, yo voy a leer el email. Hi, John. I have a big room too. It's blue. Blue is my favorite color. There is blank big bed in my room. A. There is a, right? There is a big bed in my room. And blank pillows on it. Um, some, some. Some. some pillows on it. Very good. There is blank desk. A. 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 But there isn't 
any. There isn't any bookcase. Okay. In my room. There is also some. M. Mm. A and and perdón and armchair. There is also okay. an armchair. Si tienen bastante ruido a su alrededor, tienen que eh, apagar su micrófono, ¿verdad? Consideren este, que también todos los están escuchando acá. <laughs> ok. Very good. Quiero que participen, pero también quiero que eh, si tienen mucho ruido, si tienen televisores atrás, radios, entonces mejor mantener su micrófono apagado. Ok, very good. There is an armchair and blank curtains in front of the window. Curtains? Some. Some curtains. Some. There aren't blank Any. paintings. Any paintings on the Any. wall. But there are Blank so, posters. Some. some posters. Some. There are blank toys in a box. Some. Some. There are some toys some. in the box. Some. But there isn't any. 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 No, there isn't any carpet on the floor. Okay, very good. Okay. What's your favorite room? Right soon, Jack. All right. Very good. Excellent. Questions? Okay. That was a little practice that we did, right? Applying the quantifiers. Okay. Let me open my presentation up, please. Let me open a presentation that I have for you. Okay, very good. So yesterday I talked about uh, extra vocabulary that I'm giving you, okay? That you can use to describe objects in your house, okay? Extra material that you can use to describe objects in your house. Okay, for example, number one, wood. Wood, repeat, wood. 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 No, no es wu. No es wu. Sino que wood. hay una de al final. Wood. 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 Okay. Tampoco es good. good. No es bueno. Good. <laughs> good, no. <laughs> Suena igual, pero no. Wood. 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 Okay, very good. Excellent. Uh, next. Metal. Repeat. Metal. 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 There is a metal table in my garage. Metal. Repeat. Metal. Metal. Very good. Leather, leather, leather. I have some leather shoes. I have some leather shoes. I have a leather bag. I have leather, leather. Esta esta th suena como una d, like mother, father. Leather. Sounds like a D. Leather. Leather. Okay. Next, different material. Iron. 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 Very good. Excellent. Another material that we have in the house a lot. Plastic. 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 Right? Plastic cup, plastic spoon, plastic, oh, the plastic, all right? Plastic cell phone. 
plastic chair, okay? Plastic. Wool. 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 Esta cis es W. Wool. 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 Uh -huh. La L es un poco silenciosa. Wool. Wool. So, eh, lana, right? Like a sweater. Maybe you have a sweater. Or maybe you have uh, seat covers or something, a blanket, una eh, cobija, blanket. Okay. A scarf too. Scarf too, yes, correct. Mm -hmm. A sweater or a jacket. Cotton. 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 También hay una, hay esta pronunciación también. Cotton. 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 Dos formas están bien. Pueden decir cotton, perdón, cotton, or cotton. 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 Right? Cotton. Algodón, right? Something that is algodón, right? Unas toallas normalmente, 100% algodón, right? Cotton. Cotton. Nylon. 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 Okay. Very good. Un material bastante fuerte, right? Lo usamos para, puede usar para bags, wallets, eh, los bolsones, book bags, right? That you go to school with. Dice lo mismo en español que en inglés. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tal vez solo la pronunciación sería un poquito diferente, right? Nylon. Nylon. De hecho, nosotros nos robamos esa palabra del inglés, right? Nylon. Right? Very good. Ok, so, ¿para qué le muestro esto? Es para que ustedes puedan describir los objetos que tienen ya con el material. Ok? For example, les usemos el chat. Uh, there is... Eh, Solo le voy a dar unos ejemplos. There is a wood table in my living room. There is a metal a window in my room. Ok. Y ahí ustedes pueden describir lo que quieren, right? Different, different things. Ok. Very good. Now, uh, let me go to... Back to the yeah. document. See? How do you say acero? Iron. Es lo que dije ahí. Iron. Uh -huh. Entonces, hierro. ¿Cuál sería? Sí, mira, hay tres diferentes. Eso ya tiene que ver con la gente que, like, alguien que entiende eso, ¿verdad? Porque sí, hay componentes, oh, okay. hay componentes diferentes entre eh, metal, hierro y también... Eh, hay otro, hay otro material, lo que usan para hacer los, los cuchillos o ese es otro tipo de material. Ah, okay. ah porque Aluminio. como por ejemplo si va a decir hacer inoxidable, digamos tendría que ser como en, iron. En, en, no, 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 se, no es iron porque no es el mismo material. En inglés se dice stainless steel. Ok, lo, ah, sí. lo, iron, no, primero metal, ¿verdad? Right? Metal, metal, iron, steel. Son diferentes. Y después tenés acero inoxidable, stainless steel. Okay. Todos esos son materiales diferentes. Okay. Steel, okay. por lo que yo entiendo, hay dos formas. Hay, hay dos eh, tipos de steel. Eh, stainless steel y carbon steel. steel. Okay. Carbon steel. Carbon steel. Oh. Okay. Por ejemplo... Los cuchillos que normalmente tú puedes comprar así en la tienda son de stainless steel para que no se puedan, no se oxiden, ¿verdad? Con, con la comida. Pero hay herramientas que son de carbon steel, como por ejemplo el martillo o los machetes son de carbon steel. Eso sí se oxidan porque hay un componente diferente. ¿Ok? So, entonces, hay metal, iron, steel. Y de steel, hay dos tipos de steel. Stainless steel, steel y carbon steel. Okay. Steel. 
Well, hasta ahí se. <laughs> right? Okay, so. Thanks. Now, ¿qué pasa si yo quiero describir eh, no solamente el material, pero también el tamaño y el color de un objeto? Okay, ahora se complicó, ¿verdad? Un poquito, nos complicamos un poquito, ¿verdad? Right? Because, quiero describir. Hold on. No me está encendiendo esto. Voy a dejar de compartir. Creo que se me trabó Word. Hold on. Ok, perdón, se me había trabado Word. Ok, look, so. Ok. Hagamos un ejemplo like this, right? So, I want to describe size, el tamaño de algo, okay? I want mm -hmm. to describe the size, the size. color, the color, and the material. And then I want to have the noun, okay? So, tengo calificativo, calificativo, y calificativo, okay? Pero la orden de esos calificativos tienen que estar correctos. Tienen que ir en una orden. No puedo intercambiar la orden en inglés. Okay? Right? So, let's say, for example, right? I have a, and in my living room, I have a big brown wooden table. ¿Vieron cómo hice eso? I have a big brown wooden table. Okay. Okay. Big es un calificativo. Big. big es un calificativo grande. Right? Una vista grande. I have a big brown wood big. table. Pueden decir wooden big. or wood. I have a big brown wood table in my living room. Estoy describiendo el tamaño, el color y el material. ¿Ok? Pero no puedo cambiar esta orden. ¿Ok? No puedo decir, I have a brown wood big table. No. It's incorrect. ¿Ok? Los calificativos tienen una orden en inglés. Big brown wood table. So, lo primero que hago es poner el tamaño. Tamaño. Right. ¿Qué diferentes tipos de tamaño hay? Vocabulario. Small. Big. Little. Medium. Ok. Right. Right. Color. I have different colors. Right? Ustedes se pueden los colores. Red. Blue. Yellow. White. Brown. White. Right. Hay infinita yeah. cantidad de colores. Material es lo que acabamos de aprender, right? Wood, metal, iron, iron plastic, nylon, leather, eh, ¿qué más? Uh, nylon, wool, wool, cotton. Okay, very good. So it's the materials. Right? So, aquí tengo una lista de calificativos, pero los tengo que poner en orden. I have to put them together in order. Okay? So, la orden que vamos a aprender es size, color, material, and noun. Noun es lo que estoy describiendo. Aquí pongo lo que estoy describiendo. Okay? Very good. Example. ¿Quién me podría dar un ejemplo? Example. Give me an example. Ok, le voy a dar un minuto para que puedan escribir uno. I have a big orange and good uh, sofa. Ok. Eh, ¿Madera? Big, big, big. ¿Está, ¿Está diciendo madera? No, no, no. Okay. Eh, letter. 
Leather. Ah, leather sofa. Teacher. Uh -huh. How do you say uh, collares? Uh, necklace. No, necklace. 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 Okay. Very good. Okay. Examples? Come on. Alguien más? Okay. I have a small uh, black middle chair in my. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I have a small chair, a blue plastic chair in my bedroom. Mm -hmm. Plastic chair. Chair. Oh. Plastic chair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good, okay. very good. Good example, right? I have, mm -hmm. I have, med, I have medium um, jacket. No, se le olvidó el color. I have a medium. I have medium um, blue cotton, mm -hmm. cotton uh -huh. and jacket. Yes, that's correct. Uh -huh. <laughs> very good. Cuesta, right? But no podemos mm -hmm. intercambiar la orden. Va así. De hecho, hay siete diferentes tipos de calificativos. Ahorita solo estoy dando tres. <laughs> All right. But suficiente, right, for right now. Okay. Example. Uh, Jose Carlos, give me an example. I know you can do it. She has a small white wool desk. Excellent. Very good. Very good, Jose. Okay. ¿Quién más? Examples. I have a Hi. small brown stainless steel mm -hmm. uh, necklace. Very good. I have a small brown stainless steel necklace. Very good. Carla? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I have big brown wool decks. Mm, ¿Cuál era el material? Perdón. El material que usted usó, ¿cuál era? Wood. Wood. Madera. Wood. 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 Okay, no es good. No es good. Es wood. 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 Okay, very good. Eh, Santos, example. Santos, are you there? Okay, hasta ahí. Sí. Hola, sí. Tenía esa aquí el volumen. Dice, I had a small blue a plastic chair. Yes, I have a small blue plastic chair. Very good. Tell me, give me an example. I had little brown plastic table. Excellent. Very good. Good job. Alberto? I have I have a small like gray wooden and table. Wooden table. No tiene que poner yes. end table. Just wood table. Okay. Excellent. Very good guys. Okay. Uh, questions about this topic? Right? Wow. Okay, let's go to the next activity. Okay, very good. The next activity is section three, right? So, ahora introducimos la sección tres, right? Yo estoy por la tres, ustedes deberían de estar ya terminando la tres. Y el examen, ¿verdad? So, adelántese usted. Occupations, Okay. Eh, micrófono apagado, please, para reducir un poquito el sonido. Eh, repeat after me. Waiter. Waiter. Okay. Micrófono apagado, please. Paramedic. Paramedic. Paramédico, right? Dentist. Dentist. Train conductor, train conductor. Aquí no tenemos train, so don't worry. Nurse, enfermera, nurse. Electrician, electrician. Doctor, doctor. B 
businessman. También puede ser businesswoman. Una, una mujer de negocios. Businessman or businesswoman. American football player. Student. Surgeon. Un cirujano. A surgeon. Doorman. A doorman. They work in the hotel, right? Están en los hoteles ahí. Tomando las maletas. Very good. Okay. Eh, sorry que no, no pude obtener toda la imagen. Pero se la voy a poner acá. Okay. Teacher. Teacher. Soldier. Soldier. Soldado. Okay. Mechanic. Mechanic. Scientist. Scientist. Scientific. Scientist. News reporter. News reporter. Construction worker. Construction worker. Okay, questions? Okay, eh, tengo algunas otras acá. Uh -huh, Carla, questions? Mm -hmm. Yes, eh, estas profesiones se escriben en minúscula, no en mayúscula. Mm, sí, minúscula. I am a doctor es minúscula. A, okay, no ser que, a no ser que la persona lo está usando como, como un título. Soy doctor, ¿verdad? Soy doctor Smith. ¿No? Entonces, sí, obviamente doctor va con mayúscula. Pero si simplemente lo está usando como objetivo, eh, simplemente como complemento, puede ir lowercase. Okay, another uh, type of professions, right? Uh, here in our country, mm -hmm. in Los Salvador, tenemos alguna gente que se dedica al sports, right? So, voy a poner no solamente boxer, pero hay otra que es athlete. Athlete. Una atleta. Singer. Athlete. Singer, yes, that can be another occupation, singer. Uh, cameraman. Detective, journalist, okay, muchos en el país, journalist, housewife, si se dedican a, a, a la casa, housewife, eh, driver, pero no sé cómo, no tiene nada que ver con driver, <laughs> right? Pope, priest, salesman, eh, librarian, y ya esto ya no. Singer and pirate. Teacher, pero el que le sigue al, al de la ama de casa es como, como un bus o algo así. Ah, no es driver, es diver. Ah, ok, ok. Yeah, ver, perdón, no, pensé que tenía una R. Ok, very good. Questions? Ok. Now, I'm going to ask you a question. You tell me, where do these people work? For example, where does the waiter work? Where does a work? Okay. Where does a waiter work? Where does a waiter work? Nadie me está preguntando. Waiter work in a restaurant. Yes, very good. In a restaurant. Where does a paramedic work? In a hospital. In a hospital. Mm -hmm. Where does a dentist work? In the clinic. In the clinic or office, private office. Uh, where does a nurse work? In the In hospital. hospital. Very good. Where does an electrician work? <laughs> In 
Where does an electrician work? In the, in the, in the, in the houses, uh, construction site. A doctor, todos sabemos, right? In a hospital or an office, a private office. Where does a businessman work? Where does a businessman work? Como es empresa. How do you say empresa in English? In, 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 in an office. Uh, enterprise, no. <laughs> office or in a business. In a business. Um, so, solo usa la primera parte. Business. And business. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, where does a student go to? In a college. College or university? High school. Where does the doorman work? A doorman. In a hotel. In a hotel. Or the restaurant. Or it could, yeah, maybe a restaurant. Mm, or oh, sería waiter for a restaurant. Mm, yeah. Doorman is is. Yeah. Sir, I have a question hotel. about mm -hmm. the, the waiter. Mm -hmm. In in the in the the part uh, la plataforma. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, aparece para mujer waitress. Waitress. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yes. Ah, mm -hmm. okay. Y yo, yo pensaba que podíamos usar waitress para ambos, pero no sabía que no. podíamos usar. No, no. Hay, hay algunas algunas palabras que son gender neutral, que son neutrales, que uh, aunque sea eh, hombre o mujer, siempre el término es igual. Por ejemplo, doctor. Doctor, el término es igual, sea mujer o hombre, right? Pero algunos no, ¿verdad? Algunos como waiter, waitress. Okay, soldier. Where does a soldier work? Where? ¿Dónde trabaja a soldier? In the street, in la calle. <laughs> in the, in the calle. Yeah. <laughs> Right now, but uh, they can train uh, in the army, right? The army. Al final trabaja <laughs> por the army, right? The army, el ejército, army. Where does the mechanic work? Taller. How do you say a taller in English? Mm. Mechanic shop. Okay. Mechanic shop. shop. Okay. Hay, otra, hay otras palabras también, pero esta es más común. Where does the news reporter work? News reporter. In TV station. TV station, excellent, very good. All right, very good. You guys are doing good, excellent. So, sí, conocen bastante ustedes. Tienen un vocabulario amplio. All right. So, places to work in a hospital, in a hotel, in a store, in a... In a hotel, office. Sorry, in an office, okay? And activities. ¿Qué tipo de actividades podemos hacer allí? What type of activities do you do at work? For example, wear uniform. Where's a uniform? Porque estamos hablando de tercera persona, right? Where's a uniform? Sits all day. Sits all day. Talks to people. Works hard. Stands all day. Handles money. Works at night, writes tickets. Okay, so let's say for example, tiene que describirme una de las que vimos allí, right? Let's say for example, uh, una bien fácil. A doctor. A doctor. ¿Dónde trabaja? Works at a uniform in a hospital. Works in a hospital. ¿Y qué hace? He, it's, what does he do? Tell people, tell people. He helps sit uh, people. Sits a day. Okay. Oh, también pueden describir eso. He sits all day. No creo. Los doctores siempre están en pie. Okay. He helps sick people. Okay. He works hard. He works hard every day. Right okay. recipes now. También, ellos siempre están parados, ¿vale? doctores, hasta usan zapatos especiales. No, right, right. He, right. He stands all day. Okay. 
Algunos trabajan en la noche. He works all night. Okay. Very good. So here I'm describing a doctor, right? I'm describing a doctor, okay? So lo que vamos a hacer, solo tenemos 10 minutos, okay? Mm, un poquito, sí, como 10 minutos porque empecé 3, 4 minutos tarde. Um, so lo que vamos a hacer es, ahí tienen la guía, ustedes van a hablar, no tienen que escribir, olvídense de escribir, no hay tiempo. Uh, speak, describe one of the occupations. Where do they work? Donde trabajan? And activities. Remember, I'm using simple present in, 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 so I have the S. Estoy usando simple present with the S. The verb has to have S. Okay? Very good. Let's go to groups. Hello. Okay, let's go to groups. Hola, ¿quién inicia? Este, ¿Sería de alguien más o de nosotros? Sí. Ahí él, él mencionaba de terceras personas. Puede, pero podemos hablar de, de No, nosotros. no, no. Tercera persona, third person. Describe one of the occupations. Oh, pues, ¿qué sería en tercera okay. persona? Ok. Okay, sí. Eh, Inisa. Sí, sí, sí. The waiter at uh, waiters uh, works in a restaurant. Wait, uh, he, 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 uh, um, attend a people mm -hmm. and attends people, attends people, and um, he works hard um, all day or at night, or, and he stands um, during work. Ok, eh, voy, voy yo, sería, uh, it's a doorman, it, uh, it's a hotel, it's a hotel, no, no veo, a ten people, and um, a stand a day. And I work at night. Works. Works. Pónganle la S, right? Porque están hablando de tercera Works. persona. Works. Works at night. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Next, Bessie. Uh, the doctor works in the hospital. Mm -hmm. And save lives. Saves. He cares for saves. Saves. Mm -hmm. saves. saves. Lives. Mm -hmm. He cares for sick people. Mm -hmm. 
he mm. works hard, right? Okay. Works hard. Okay. Sí. Trabaja duro, los doctores. Eh, yes. Question, Betsy. Usan uniformes, okay. los doctores. Yes. Entonces yes. puedes usar la que está ahí, la primera. Wears a uniform. Okay. Wears an wears an uniform. Hola. Uh -huh. Ah, correct, correct. Okay, okay, okay. Next. Okay. Hola. A doctor, ah, perdón, a nurse, a nurse, a nurse okay. in, in work, in, nurse in work hospital, <clears throat> and she assistant and doctors, and she, she wears uh, uniforms, and she works all uh, a day and a night. Mm -hmm. That's to people también. Talks to oh, people. Okay. Yeah. okay. Very good. Talks to people. Very good. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Tienen ahí diferentes occupations. What What is a soldier? You can uh, choose different ones. A paramedic, doorman, news reporter, mechanic, teacher, salesman. Sí, tienen ahí un gran montón. So go ahead and Quizás describe. Por la pandemia. Quizás por la pandemia, teacher. ¿La pandemia qué? Tenemos aquí a los doctores. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? ¿Cuántos son doctores aquí? ¿Cuántos no, doctores hay? No, no, no sé. No. <laughs> I don't know, I don't okay. know. Sería, but... Okay, uh, choose sorry, another yeah. one. Elijan a otro, otro, otro occupation. Choose another yeah, one. Waiter. The priest work in the church. And the priest works in at night or uh, in the morning, right? Okay. I guess that. <laughs> okay, so the taxi works in a restaurant all day and make reservation uh, for these customers. Yeah. Okay, mm. recording was on the simple present, right? He works all day. He wears uniform. He talks to people. Okay? Use the simple present. Porque están hablando de otra persona, right? Están hablando de tercero, the waiter, right? Okay. The housewife works in, in the house. Uh, she doesn't wear uniform. And she works very hard all days. Very good. Okay, Delmi, your turn. Uh, okay. In North, North Guard in the hospital, um, she wore, I know, she wore um, the uni uh, uniform. Um, she, what could I say that she is parada todo el día? And she, she stands all day. She stands uh, all day. Stands all day. She stands all day. Agregale la S, simple present. S, stands. She stands all day. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about a news reporter, mechanic? Okay. Okay, um, mechanic. He works um, mechanic shop. 
and he works hard. He work, works. Works. Uniform. Ana, póngale una S. Tienen que terminar work. así. Escuchen. La pronunciación del, de, la, de la S. Escuchen. La pronunciación de la S en inglés es bien fuerte. Right? Works. Works. Work. Repeat. Work. 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 Tiene que terminar como, como una culebra. Ok. Fans. He works. He speaks to people. He works. talks to others. Ok, very good. Okay. Go. Traten de pronunciar esa S. Ok. Ok. He works a uniform and he spends all day. Okay, very good. Okay, okay, good, good. All right. Okay. Um, how to sing her? Ok, very good. So, ¿Pudieron describir las uh, occupations? Ok, remember to use an S. Simple present, you have to use an S. Right? He stands, he works, he talks to people. Tiene que pronunciar la S. Si no pronuncia la S, la gente va a pensar que no, no está hablando en el simple present. Ok? All right, very good. Uh, attendance, rapidito, Albert Espinosa. Albert Espinosa. Sure. Present teacher. Okay. Ana Francisca, Ana Francisca Garcia. Present teacher. Ana Vicky Garcia. Present teacher. Francisco Javier Artiga. Present. Betsy Avalos. Bessie Marisol Flores. Ok, thank you, Bessie. Ahora tengo Bessie Marisol Flores. Present, teacher. César Adonai Martínez. Present. Okay. Claudia Janet Ramírez. Present. Claudia Victoria Ramos. Present. Dalida Antonia. Present, teacher. Delvin Guadalupe. Present teacher. Tinora Lisset. Tinora Lisset. Present teacher. Edwin Alberto Gómez. Ernesto Arturo García. Present, I'm, I'm here. Ok. Eh, no te escuché la primera vez, eh, Ernesto. Creo que estabas, pero no, no pudiste, no te escuché. Yo te marqué absent. Sí, sí el, micro, el micrófono me estaba fallando. Ok. Félix Edgardo Escobar. Prese. Francisco Gerardo Ramírez. Francisco Gerardo. Gerson Elías Rodríguez. Present teacher. Elina Linares. Present teacher. Iliana Alvarado. Present teacher. Israel Antonio Torres. Present teacher. Eh, Jessica Saraí. Jessica Elizabeth. Eh, no, perdón, perdón. Jennifer Saraí. Jessica Elizabeth. Present. Okay, thank you. 
Joana Beatriz. Present teacher. Jorge José. Jorge José. Eh, dice present, pero ok. Eh, José Carlos Rodríguez. Present teacher. José Isaías Portillo. Present teacher. Carla Patricia. Present teacher. María de los Ángeles. Present teacher. Eh, Rosa Elizabeth Ortiz. Present teacher. Santos Bolaños. Present. Ok, ¿alguien que no llame? Ok, very good, very good. Excellent. So, eh, ¿Cuántos ya están terminando el examen? ¿El midterm? Ya lo, por ahí? No, ya lo terminé. Algunos ya lo terminaron. Right? Otros no han comenzado. Eh, me gustaría que esta semana puedan completar el examen, right? El examen de... Chair. ¿Sí? Yo como es primera Perdón, no le escucho. ¿Alguien, alguien, alguien tiene una, un ruido ahí, no sé, está en el trabajo, no le escucho. Eh, Claudia, dígame. Este, yo ya, ya realicé el examen, pero Ajá. hay un, un ejercicio Ajá. que ya hice dos y el tercero me sale mal y o sea, ya lo hice de varias formas y no. Ya me escribió. Es lo único que me falta. De ya eso me... no. Ya me escribió en el WhatsApp. No, escríbame en el WhatsApp, póngame su nombre, el grupo eh, en el que está para que vea cuál plataforma y, y este, la sección, dígame, el examen, la sección tal, pregunta número tal. Ok. okay. ¿Questions? Ok, guys. So, ¿Sí? ¿Dinora? Yo, teacher. Uh -huh. este, como es primera vez que trabajo de esa manera, no sé cuál es el examen. El examen está después Porque de la yo sección ya viví número 3. De... Estaba abajito Entonces... de la sección 3. Bueno, permítame. Uh -huh. Quiero ver si puedo mostrarles. ¿Sabe qué? Lo voy a poner en el grupo porque ya no quiero tomarles tiempo, ¿ok? Lo voy a poner ahí en el grupo. Les voy a tomar una, una captura de pantalla, pero está abajito de la sección 3. Hay otro enlace que dice MIT. Ok. Okay, very good. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow then, okay? Have a good day. Have a good night. Thank you. Have a good night. Good night. Good night.